Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, guys and gals. It's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And I've got a mail call. Didn't see you all hanging out there. Actually, I got a double mail call. Uh, let me slide in here a little bit closer. And one of these is from Lead Sled Art. Luke Pelioka from up in Maine. And I know what this is because I've been expecting it. And let me get it. I haven't opened these. I got these packages a couple of days ago. And I've been so busy, I just have not had the opportunity to open them. Huh? That's the first page. It's a calendar. And look at the artwork. That's for uh, January of 2019. Here's the one for February. Luke does really, really nice work. Lead Sled Art. And I think you could check in with him on um, here on YouTube. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll try and find the link to his uh, site. Because I think he sells these. Look at that. 49 Ford Convertible. I had a 50 Ford sedan, two-door sedan. And it came with a 51 Ford parts car. And I paid 200 bucks for the pair of them. Look at that. Talk about quality artwork. What a beautiful calendar. This, I was thinking I was going to put this out in my garage, but uh, I think I'm going to keep it right here in my man cave. Yes, sirree, Bob. And uh, I'm trying to get each page open here. I mean, look at the quality of these paintings that he does. Really, really good stuff. How about that? 58 Chevy convertible. That's the same color as my 57 convertible was. I had a 57 Chevy convertible back in the day. That was in 1967, so it was only a 10-year-old car at the time. I paid 100 bucks for it. Yep. And that 57 Chevy convertible had a 283 out of a 58 Chevy in it already. The motor had already been replaced. And, uh, of course, those motors usually, if they made 100,000 miles, that was high mileage. But, uh, yeah, it was a quickie home, homegrown swap because there were old spark plug wires still hanging off it when I bought it. Model A Roadster. And I, I drove it with that motor through the first summer that I owned it. And uh, the transmission was leaking. It was automatic. Transmission was leaking constantly. And I was uh, working as a camp counselor at a, um, a weekly uh, camp for young people. I was a counselor there. And... Uh, so I just kept adding transmission fluid because I didn't have time to crawl around underneath it and try to fix it. Well, come that fall, I was working at a lumberyard and a fellow that I was working with had a 59 Chevy convertible that he said had a good motor in it but the body was all rotted out. So I bought that convertible from him. I think I paid 50 bucks for that one. I hauled it home. Look at that pickup truck. I hauled that home, pulled the motor and transmission out of that one. That was an automatic too. And uh, I actually sent the transmission uh, from both my car and the new car to the dump, uh, to the junkyard. I probably got 
back in those days I probably got 10 bucks for it so oh yeah there you go look right on there that'll give you all his contact information and everything Luke at evolve.net or www.leadsledart.com and he'll do your vehicle if you want him to do it. He, these are some that he has done um, on contract for people. Thank you very much Luke. I really appreciate it. He's been following me and I've been following him for a bunch of years now and he's gone to art school and been through college and when I first met him, he was just a, a real young fella in his middle teens, I think. And now he's in his early 20s, I believe. So, yeah, you check him out. Lead Sled Art. Thanks again so much, Luke. I really appreciate it. So I was telling you about my 57 Chevy. I pulled the motor out of that 59, as I said and uh, whatever other parts I thought I needed to keep from it and uh, I dropped it into my 57 but while I had the motor out I decided you know a floor shift is a whole lot better than an automatic you can't burn rubber with an automatic very well not a stock one anyway and so I went to the junkyard and you got to remember this is back in 67. Yeah, I was in the 67 that I did all of this. Um, I went to the junkyard and found a, a 57 station wagon that I pulled the transmission, the bell housing, the flywheel, clutch, the clutch pedals and brake pedal assembly because it's a to uh, one unit. Got all of that stuff that I needed out of that donor car. And I think I paid $10 for that. Because I pulled it out myself. And I was only 18 years old at the time. So I was pretty slim and pretty easy to uh, get around, you know. Well, my battery started to die. And see if I can remember where I was in telling you the story. Plus I have this other part of the mail call to do. I, uh, I got all those parts from the junkyard. And I yanked out the original brake pedal assembly and all of that, and I swapped everything over. And make a long story short, I put that 283 down in there with a. It was only a three-speed, and I bought a brand new Hurst Mystery Shifter to put in there. Woohoo! The car already had dual exhaust on it when I bought it, and it was one sweet car. I wished I still had some pictures of it, but the only picture I had of it. Um, was in my wallet and when I was in the Navy in 1968 is when I went in when I was in the Navy uh, in a school I was in playing basketball one time and I left my wallet in the locker room somebody stole it and uh, never did find it I wouldn't have mad I wouldn't have bothered me if they just took the money out of it it wasn't a whole lot probably 20 bucks in it something if they just took the money and left the wallet there, I'd have been happy. But I had to get my ID replaced, had to get my driver's license replaced. And I'm out in California. My driver's license was from Massachusetts. All that kind of stuff. My military ID, the whole nine yards. Anyway, you know how it is with old men. They get rambling on. So uh, anyway, that's the story of my 57 Chevy convertible. And it was baby blue with a royal blue top so on to our second mail call and this one is from uh, Big Daddy 1992 he lives in Royalton Minnesota his name is Micah you most of you probably know him and oh look what he sent to me Look at that. Nineteen fifty four Minnesota plate. You see what it says up the top there, ten thousand lakes? Yeah, well, there are ten thousand lakes and more here in Minnesota, 
Wouldn't you know I live in the one county in the whole state that has zero lakes. That's right, zero lakes. No lakes in Dodge County. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Micah. I really appreciate it. And this will get hung up out in the garage for sure. And uh, Luke, I'm not putting this out in the garage. This is staying right here in my office because I'll get to look at it more. And when I take this out to hang it up, I'll show you the uh, original calendar that I have from Luke. I think it's like two or three years ago that he uh, had sent to me. So thanks all for stopping by the shop. And uh, I'm going to be hoping, hopefully going out to the shop to work tomorrow. It's only going to be 20 degrees for a high or 19 degrees for a high. But I'll crank up the heater for as long as I have propane left. And uh, I'm going to try and get my drivetrain functioning again and try another road test. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep trying as long as the ground is dry and don't expect any more rain until the end of the week and that ain't going to be rain. That's going to be white stuff. So until then, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man thing, thing, blah, 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 saying thanks for watching, for commenting, and for subscribing. Bye for now.